Welcome to another lesson from Jaden's new album, CTV3. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Drops of Sun. So as always, if this video helps you, please hit the like button. It helps my channel more than you know. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I'll be happy to answer them. And subscribe for more lessons from this artist. Enjoy. So the intro is made up of three chords, the first of which is a B major chord. So you're going to bar the second fret from the A string with your pointer finger. And you're also going to bar the D, G, and B strings on the fourth fret. And you're going to pick the A string, D string, then G string. Uh, next is a C sharp major chord. So you're going to take the B major chord and move it up two frets. And you're going to do the same picking pattern again. So the intro is made up of four chords, the first of which is a B major chord. So you're going to bar the second fret from the A string with your pointer finger. And you're also going to bar the D, G, and B strings on the fourth fret. And you're going to pick the A string, D string, then G string. Next is a C sharp major chord. So you're going to take the B major chord and move it up two frets. And you're going to do the same picking pattern again. And then last is an E major chord. So you're going to place your middle finger on the second fret of the A string your ring finger on the second fret of the D string and your pointer finger on the first fret of the G string. And you're going to pick the uh, D string, G string, then B string. And then you're going to go back to the uh, B major chord and strum it once. And all put together, it sounds like this. Now the lead during the intro. Uh, so for this, you're going to place your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the G string, and you're going to bar the B and high E strings on the seventh fret with your pinky finger, and you're going to pick the high E string, B string, then G string. Next, you're going to bar the G, B, and high E strings on the sixth fret with your pointer finger, and you're going to place your middle finger on the seventh fret of the high E string, and you're going to do the same picking pattern again. Next, you're going to place your pinky on the 7th fret of the high E string, your middle finger on the 5th fret of the B string, and your pointer finger on the 4th fret of the G string. And you're going to do the same picking pattern again. Then you're going to go to the B major chord and just strum that once. And all put together, it sounds like this. Now the verse. Uh, the verse starts on a B major chord, which we already learned, and you're going to pick the A string, D string, then you're going to do an upstroke from the B string, uh, then a D sharp minor chord. So you're going to bar the sixth fret from the A string. Uh, you're going to place your ring finger on the eighth fret of the D string, your pinky finger on the eighth fret of the G string and your middle finger on the seventh fret of the B string, and you're gonna do the same picking pattern again. Next is an E major chord, so you're just gonna take the B major chord and move it up to the seventh fret and do the same picking pattern again. Then back to the B major chord and do the same picking pattern again. Next is a G sharp minor chord, so you're gonna bar the fourth fret with your pointer finger. You're going to place your ring finger on the 6th fret of the A string and your pinky finger on the 6th fret of the D string. And you're going to pick the A string, or the low E string, the A string. Then you're going to do an upstroke from the B string. Then back to the D sharp major chord, or minor chord, and do the same picking pattern that we did the last time. Uh, then we're going to go to a C sharp major seven chord. So you're going to bar the uh, fourth fret from the A string with your pointer finger. You're going to place your ring finger on the sixth fret of the D string and your pinky finger on the sixth fret of the B string. And you're going to do the same picking pattern that we did uh, for the D sharp minor chord. And then to a uh, F sharp major chord. So you're going to take the B major chord and you're going to move it up to the ninth fret. And you're going to do the same picking pattern again. 
And all put together, it sounds like this. Now the chorus. Uh, the chorus is the same as the intro. The picking pattern is just different. Uh, so you're going to pick the A string, D string, G string, then back to the D string. Then you're going to move up and do the same. Then to the E major chord and do the same. Then back to the B major chord and do the same thing again. And all put together, it sounds like this. Now the bridge. Uh, so for the bridge, we're going to start on a D-sharp minor chord, and we're going to do the same picking pattern that we did on the D-sharp minor chord during the verse. Uh, then to a G-sharp minor chord, and we're going to do the same picking pattern that we did on the G-sharp minor chord during the verse as well. Then we're going to do both of those again. Then you're going to bar the G, B, and high E strings on the 4th fret with your pointer finger, and you're going to place your ring finger on the 6th fret of the D string, and you're going to pick the D string. Then you're going to do an upstroke. Then you're going to lift your ring finger and place your middle finger on the 5th fret of the D string, uh, and do the same thing again. Then you're going to bar the D, G, B, and high E strings on the 4th fret with your pointer finger and do the same thing again. Then you're going to bar the G, B, and high E strings on the 4th fret with your ring finger, and you're going to place your pointer finger on the 3rd fret of the D string and do the same picking pattern again. Then you're going to move your pointer finger down to the 2nd fret and do the same picking pattern again, uh, except for twice as long. Then you're going to move your pointer finger back up and do the same thing again. Then we're going to go to the F sharp uh, major chord, and you're going to pick the A string, D string, B string, then G string. And then we're going to go back into the intro. And all together, it sounds like this. And that's it for Drops of Sun. Uh, like I mentioned, if this video helped you, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. And subscribe for more lessons from this artist. Thanks.